Hello everybody and welcome back to the Adventures in Collecting YouTube channel where we take a closer look at the toys we talk about on the show and today we are headed back to the year 2004. We are headed back to one of the most beloved uh, Godzilla films, Final Wars. We are looking at the SH Monster Arts 2004 Godzilla from uh, from the folks over at Tamashii Nations and Bandai. Uh, this is, like I said, one of the most beloved Godzilla designs. His look, um, you know, kind of really modernized that, that 1954 original look here. Um, one of the most iconic looks of, of the of the world famous kaiju um and a great film too so final wars is awesome uh if you are at all familiar with the sh monster arts presentation um much of the same here some really cool slashes through the box to kind of give you a look into the big window there and you can actually see godzilla inside again the slashes continue around the outside um and uh we get some really great art of the figure itself really great Figure photography, of course, that seal of authenticity, that nice little lenticular seal, um, and then you know additional looks of the figure on the back. So let's get this uh, this mamma jamma here into the light box and take a closer look at the SH Monster Arts 2004 Godzilla Final Wars Godzilla. <laughs> Folks, there is your SH Monster Arts 2004 Godzilla out of the package. Um, as you can see, uh, this is an exceedingly uh, simple figure to review here. Um, not a whole lot to say about it in terms of uh, you know what's offered. No accessories with this. I would say that's the one kind of um, short-sightedness about this figure. Uh, would love you know a blast effect, something to you know put in his mouth to you know to do his kind of atomic breath. Um, you know, uh, some of the past Godzilla releases, so like the, the more modern Godzillas come with alternate hands, um, not really necessary for a release like this. I mean, a, a, a fist or, you know, a more of a grippy hand would be kind of cool, but, uh, you know, inaccurate to the, uh, you know, in, in an effort to be accurate to the film, you know, this is the look of the figure. It has that really unique head shape to it that was, that was kind of, um, you know, uh, identifying this version of Godzilla um, from Final Wars. There's tons and tons and tons of detail inside the mouth, really great paint on this. The one thing I will say that I absolutely love that has, I don't wanna say been a problem, but you know, has been kind of tricky in, you know, photographing these figures. Um, as you can see, there, t there tends to be like a gap straight through the body um, and it's still present in the arms but not really present in the legs like it has been in, in past releases. So that's a really nice improvement. Um, the nails and claws have really have a really nice ombre paint job to them, you know, that really make them do look realistic. Uh, you know, the, the tail is nice and articulate, you know, it, it does exactly what you want it to do, holds its poses really well. Um, absolutely great figure. So very simple, but a very good figure. Uh, of course, you know, like I said, the one, I guess negative you could say about this is that it does come with no accessories and we have seen the SH Monster Arts line um, in the past come with some pretty cool ones. So, you know, King Kong came of course with his his uh, his axe, um, he came with the, the, the Khan exclusive one, came with um, the head of Mechagodzilla which was really cool. Uh, so, you know, I would love to see them start to include some sort of blast effect for, for Godzilla in the future, that that atomic breath is so um, you know iconic, and giving him the ability to do that uh, would be awesome. His head also does, you know, the head does come off. So even like you know maybe potentially in the future, it would be great to see um, you know a battle damaged head, you know something that shows that uh, you know that he's 
he's taken a couple of hits. I think that would be that would be cool as well. But uh, we'll put links in the description below where you can get your 2004 um, SH Monster Arts Godzilla from Bandai. And um, thanks again to our friends over there uh, for sending this over for us to take a look at and, uh, and give you guys a closer look at their latest Godzilla. Um, as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there so that way you don't miss videos like this where we take deeper dives into the toys that we love. While you're in the comments uh, down there too, uh, let us know what figure do you want to see in the SH Monster Art in the SH Monster Arts line the most? Um, do you want to see another character from Final Wars? Perhaps. Uh, while you're liking and subscribing to things, make sure you follow us here at AIC underscore podcast on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, where we're constantly posting toy videos, reviews, deals, availability, anything and everything that we think would help out the community. And then of course the podcast. So Adventures in Collecting, you can find us wherever you find podcasts. Simply search for Adventures in Collecting or hit that link down in the description below, uh, which will take you to our website. You can find links to all of the things that I just mentioned. And as always, until next time.